Hello, fans. Welcome to this presentation of the NBA Sunday Night Action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sideline. Now the starting group for the visitors. And Greg, something to keep an eye on in this one, the big men. Both these teams have talented front courts. You're exactly right. Both rely on their bigs, and, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup. Now Garcia. Outside Perkins. Over Aguilar. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Thompson outside. Aguilar covered by Perkins. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Aguilar. Here's Garcia. Outside, Perkins. And there's the pass to Garcia. Outside, Perkins. Shot clock at three. Shot, high post. Thompson with the rebound. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. And he makes that one. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Fires the three. Hits the three-point bomb. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Uh, when a pick a like that ball. is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. You got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. Now here is Garcia. Misses the layup. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the plate and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. And they'll keep possession. Yeah. He gets that one. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Pass to Perkins. Outside, Garcia. Lock at six. On deep. An absolute bomb three, from three-point range. Three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. That three off the mark. Gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. That one's not going to go. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, first way to play foul. in attack mode and foul. get to the line. Shooting for the home team. Number five. Taking two shots.
And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Outside, Perkins. And it's off from three-point range. This is it to Aguilar. Now Thompson for three. Not going to go that time. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. Home team foul. Number 34. First personal foul. First team foul. Checking in for your home team. Number two. Number 11. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Outside, two minutes Perkins. The first two minutes. There's the triple. Drills the three-pointer. Six points for him. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. To the left wing. Pass to Aguilar. Down to five on the shot clock. It's up a three. Perkins pulls it in. Gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. Another miss for him. Now shooting one for four from the floor. It's three on three on the fast break. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number five. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. He hits both from the strike. The visitors with the ball. Fifty-five seconds left to play in the first. Shooting oh, foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. Second team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Perkins at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So he hits both. There's 49 seconds left here in the first quarter. From 
from deep three-point range. And they had their chances, two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Sixteen seconds left here in the opening quarter. Just five on the clock. And that one's off, and this is his first shot of the game. On loads. One shot is good that time. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Up by one. And the second quarter about to get started. They'll be back in just a moment. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. Greg, we know from time to time things get pretty chippy out there. What kind of things would get under your skin when you played in the NBA? Oh, you know, guys tended to talk a little trash, and that could rattle you. That, that could bother you at times, but you really just tried to maintain your focus and keeping your eye on the prize. Shot clock at five. A three-pointer, no good. left to the wing lets it fly with nobody on him and carries the jump and we've seen several lead changes tonight neither team giving an inch I've been on the edge of my seat courtside man this has been a barn burner Offensive rebound. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort at the block out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. the ball at 42 percent Thompson outside it's picked off and down it goes dunk through off a wonderful assist that's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. That's the last thing you need to happen down the stretch. Let's see how they respond to the devastating punch. Kept alive. Gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Garcia for the three hands it from downtown number two he's got five three. and what kind of defense was that you can't give up wide open threes like that what are you doing Thompson outside a pass to Aguilar Off the run, and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number three. Two shots.
and the first one drops. And he can't hit the second. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. First personal foul. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Shooting for the away team. Number 20, one shot. free throw no good Richard you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title remarkable just how hard was that to do well let me say this I think it was the greatest championship ever and I'm not being biased those are the facts they were the defending champion they had the two-time MVP they won 73 wins that year so for me that was the most special comeback because we played in the greatest championship of all time I'm assuming there was no doubt in your mind at all you would come back correct uh, that's a lie uh, there was tons of doubt in my mind but I will say this when you have a group of guys that stay together when you're down 3-1, it's because you believe in each other and we believe in ourselves. Shot clock at six. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. A quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Outside, Garcia. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Drives to the hoop. Can't cash in from close range. Being 41% for the game. Passes it to Aguilar. And there's a minute 45 left now here in the second. Takes the three. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Kicks it to Garcia. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. One oh two left to play here in the half. Off with the layup. Fantastic defense, giving full effort. Pass to Aguilar. Takes the 13-footer, and he gets the bucket. Assist goes He's got six. Wow, what a pass Number there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Outside, Garcia. Home team foul. Number five. So both teams First making some changes here. Third team foul. Substitution on the court. Thirty-two seconds left from the first half of basketball. Driving inside. It's blocked, and he's able to get it back. Here's Aguilar. A miss that time would have put him up. Here's Perkins. 
lays it up off the glass. Perkins got six. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. One second left, and that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. You're leading by three. 2K Sports, back in a moment here in Atlanta. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what was your impression? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Well, they're getting almost nothing on the interior. I know we're turning to a three-point shooting move, but come on, guys. We need some kind of presence in the paint area to keep the defense honest. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession and around 41 percent on the night guarded by Garcia pass to Thompson six on the shot clock Misses from short range, being reasonably well, 45%. Here's Perkins, and it's Perkins with the jam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. He's covered by Thompson, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Ten points for him. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. Yes, this is a pivotal moment in this game. Those extra possessions right now, they just mean a little bit more. A pass to Aguilar. <laughs> Perkins pulls it in. They get it back. Fires for three, and the three ball is good. Perkins, Perkins got three 11. Points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Thompson. Here's Aguilar, and good as it just snugs right down through the net. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Here's Garcia. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Snatched away, and here we go. And it's blocked, and they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. Home team ball! Checking in for the away team. Number seven. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. And he converts the way. RC has got his first two points. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. 
Thompson outside. Passes it to Aguilar. Ball's not loose. Outside, Perkins. Can't hit from in close. Guarded by Garcia. Away Two free foul. throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First personal foul. First I'll tell you what, foul. he earned his money on that foul. Shooting for the home team. Number five, taking two shots. Shoot two. The first one falls. one falls so he hits both of them going an even 50 percent from the floor here in the third quarter four of eight outside Perkins back to Garcia to the paint great pass Garcia. to set up the layup Assist from Garcia's got his second bucket of the game to go and that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. And he gets it to go. Number 34. He has six. He knows his job on the glass and he does it well, cleaning it up and sending it right back. Fades away. And that one is off. That is not a bad decision to pull it from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Yeah. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Fast break. Here we go. And he gets off the fast break with a monster slam. And that's how you do it, guys. Ball pressure and then get some runouts. Shoots from the right block, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. This is his first free throw of the game. line for the away team. Garcia taking two shots. free throw is good yeah. 
And good on the second, so he makes them both. Gone a somewhat subpar 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Misses in close. Gone even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. One oh five left in the third quarter of the game. He doesn't hit that one. I think it's leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. 35 seconds left in the third. Right wing with the shot. And the wing jumper offline. Being 41% for the game. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Aguilar. And the layup's good off the glass. Aguilar. Outside, Garcia. Got a hand on it, and he stays with it. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that. Yeah, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. The third quarter comes to a close. Up by four. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game. And it's presented as always by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. We've reached the fourth quarter and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. tipped and that goes out of bounds and they retain Away possession so it's the visitors now they've led by as much as 10 the layup off target Thompson for three. Barry's the long-range jumper. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. He's covered by Thompson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Third personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number 20. Two shots. First one falls for. Both shots good from the strike. 
opening at 44%, pretty reasonable. Pass to Aguilar. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. You know, maybe save that fadeaway move for when he really needs it. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Outside, Perkins. He's covered by Thompson. Five to shoot. Down to the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. There's the pass to Aguilar. Nice pass. Let him to the right perfectly for the layup. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Pass to Perkins. Shot from 12. Uses the glass to finish the lane. I just love when teams make it work down low. Gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Fades and shoots. The shot comes out. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. They get it again. The second effort. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Showing the quickness right there. Just tough to keep up with it. Pass to Aguilar. Thompson outside. Pass to Aguilar. Over Perkins. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. And late in games, throw out those analytics. Give me the mid range. The shot, it just works. Second chance effort, and he sends the lead. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Home team. Player of the game. 
And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. Yeah, the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. He told them this game wasn't over yet. He said, don't give up. If you make a few big plays, we're right back in this game. Stay the course. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Now, here is Garcia. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Yeah, to keep it simple, Matt, they Good decision to use the bounce pass just to get it there. Shoots from 12. The shot, no good. Gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Down low. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the four this game. Now six for 10. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much to answer. And good that time. Yes, sir. And you want him taking Number big five. shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. Except... And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 34 at the line for two. Good on the first, and that trims the lead to six. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. I couldn't hit them all, and they need every point they can get. They can more or less wrap it up right here. This has to be a very Second smart foul. possession. Third team foul. At the line for the away team. Number 20, taking two shots. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. All alone. Oh, Number and that one, one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. 
And so the road team gets the W in this one. That's the this was a very game. strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, one from but one they'll feel very good about. And let's face it, in time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.